What's up? What's up? Yo. Hi. What's good, man? Long time no hear. Yeah, you too. What's good? Uh, well, I mean, trying to do the stream thing, and I got messaged on LinkedIn if I wanted uh, what I wanted a job. Does sound like hell yeah, dude. Oh hell yeah. I'm seeing what's going on with that. But uh, other than that, just you know, chilling, streaming, trying to make videos, working on my project CRA stuff. Project CRA. Yeah. <laughs> it's I'm actually getting through I'm almost like through all of the classes I think at getting them to a decent level of funding but then all the practicing starts right you know some classes it's just roll my face on the keyboard but most of them it's going to be quite a challenge I think the Nightwalker one is going to be horrendous okay I might, <laughs> might need <Yeah>. some tips <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. but I think it'll be nice because we'll be hopefully able to like contact people and a lot of other people who have you know, voices that are very useful when it comes to certain classes, for sure. And then that can, you know, you know, enrich the content and stuff. Yeah, that's true. Uh, okay, so uh, I wanted to call you because I wanted to just get some rough feedback. Yeah, what are you working on right now? Like, what's your project? So the first step of the project is to make an equip simulator, right? To be able to pull all the equip data, mm -hmm. and, like, be able to set the flames and at some point be able to set like like oh i, I picked you know 30 percent spell trace and have it populate the scroll data <gasps> you, kind of, um, you know what could work yeah you know it would be insane mm -hmm. if you'd have people take screenshots and you just drag in the screenshots and then a program like draws all of the info from the screenshots automatically yes that is actually that's actually one of the ideas that i, I would that's to... that's big because screenshotting is really fucking easy if you um you know about like the snip tool in Windows? Yep. Like if you make a like a big big paint page and then you just snip everything on, you can do that in like under a minute. And then if you plug that one in, that's my idea. Listen, dude, I just had the great same great idea. Why can't you just be happy that we both have great ideas instead of trying to claim it as your own? Also, I said it in the stream, so that's it. So it's mine now. Get fucked. Uh, I know. Um yeah, so that could be something. Um, yeah, it has to be like a, a level of hand holdy, I guess, where people don't have to like search where to go to enter the, all the things. Yeah, I gotcha. Something that's like step one, enter these, step two, enter these, and then step three, what do you want to know? Boom, here's your answer, something like that. Mm, to make, make, make the input like as easy as humanly possible. Yeah, and to... I think one of the things that's overwhelming with the calculator for, from from Robert is that the um, you can see the back end, and sometimes uh, being able to see the back end just makes things confusing, even if you don't need the information. So some kind of can you be a bit more specific? like a limited visibility on the results. If someone's like, okay, I want to see, um, so so in his case, it would be like the tabs, I guess. But every tab is like wow. 50,000 numbers. But it's more like, what do you want to know? You want to know how much stat equals how much attack equals how much uh, percentage stat, for example. Like then just, that should be like an option that people can click and then they just see the numbers and nothing more, nothing less. And that'll make it way more right. clean, I think. And that might be one of the things why people kind of get like scared of a calculator like that because there's just so much going on. So basically, like one of the issues of this is just that you can't hide like a lot of the stuff. It's, yeah, when I look at that, stuff, yeah. yeah, when I, when I look at it, it's like there's just so many, there's just so many numbers, there's so much stuff, and all of this is relevant, right? For at at the right times, for the right people, it is relevant, but there's just yeah. so many things. Yeah. Okay. Have you seen the other ca the the other um thing? Because the guy who made the simulators for the cubes and the flame uh, the cubes in the star force also has like a stat um hyper stat simulator and something like that right uh you've seen that one the cube simulator dude? yeah if you go to the cubing thing the brendan and then on the top right you have like the brendan. tools yeah and it also has like wse tool that has like yes yeah that's a he, he rebranded a little bit, but it's still 
at least the <laughs> website was rebranded to Brandon May, but it's still like suck hard Maple Story Tools. <laughs> this is why you think about the names, all right? This is why you don't share that email address on Hotmail, the, the first one you ever made. That's why you keep that one for the signups on the forums and you don't use it for job interviews, chat. Oh, flag race? Oh, let me drag my character in for some flag race points. Right, so for him... And then... I see he has the Star Force tool, the Hyperstat tool. Yeah. And so and this would be the same thing as a spreadsheet, but it's like a lot more friendly. This is already a bit more friendly, but I think it could be even more. Just by not having it all on one screen and like scrolling down, but more like having it, okay, uh, that, that everything below step one is kind of just like... Um, was it collapse? And what's the other term? So... Uh, there's a there's a form right that's um, it's like you know those websites where like you click a button and then like it it'll take you to a form, but literally like you just have to answer one question at a time and then it'll go like next and it just kind of goes and switch like your entire screen is just like one input in the form. Yeah, like something that's yeah. yeah, it'll be a little bit more cute and I think it for me it would be less overwhelming because you could scroll down you're like oh I have to do all that fuck but if you're just like one question at a time before you know it you'll be done you know yeah or like a little bit of uh a notice ahead of time like here this this is what you need like you need your stat window you need to be buffed you need you know something like that like you need to have 100 percent uptime buffs remember if you're this class remember that class, skill maybe you know a few ex a few exceptions and then start the calculator something like that gotcha gotcha so basically just like giving them as, as few choices at one time as possible. Yeah, I think that will... Um, so if ahead of time, you're like, okay, this is what you're going to be able to do with the calculator, right? This is... You'll be able to see... You'll be able to compare stats. You'll be able to see which equip is better. You'll, see, you'll be able to see how good your flames are if they're future-proof, you know, any kind of that stuff. So that, that ahead of time, before they're going in, they can be like, okay, I'm for sure going to get the information that I need. And if someone's like, hey, um, you know, if you have some kind of feedback away or something, that people are like... Um, I want to be able to do this with the calculator. Then, and if a lot of people want that, then you can just implement that later and then add that to the options and then it, it can serve more purposes. But I think in main, one of the main things is like having some of the stuff that is kind of, like that is front end, but not having it always visible, like the skeleton, uh, you know, like we, we know that we have skeletons and we have bones, but I don't need to see my bones all the time, right? Like I just, I know that yeah. they're there, but <laughs> if they're constantly visible, then I'm like, get very conscious of it and then like you know yeah i i got gotcha. you yeah okay um so i guess another thing would just be like how how possible do you think it is to to uh like explain kind of what what my equips have for my character at one time so for example like with these equips uh, calculate exactly how much damage I would be able to do and compare different skill rotations. Hmm. Because I'm basically trying to say, like, between uh, Sakard's <laughs> tool and the spreadsheet, yeah. like, what's what's a thing that can only be done in a browser? So the first idea would be the, the picture recognition thing. Right? You can't do that in a spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, what what kind of like unique things would be able to be done here? Because I'm trying to gauge the the benefit of actually having a separate website. Like could you a... wait? Could you like link some kind of band story thing where it actually dresses up the character and just simulates the strength of the input? And you can just like have it kill a dummy and just do the numbers and do a battle analysis online. Um. I'm not sure, because like all the numbers are available, you just it's having to like sort through all of them, right? Because we have all the data for all the skills and mm -hmm. equips and everything. So I think the main challenge is just trying to sort through all of that and put it in a much more readable way. That's what I'm trying to do in the first place. Hmm. And the spreadsheet does kind of like the the equip side, right? Like my damage side. But yeah. it just cannot, it can't ever include uh, mobs, for example. Yeah. 
because mm. you, can, you can never fully like put everything in a spreadsheet like you can't put every single mob and all their stats in a spreadsheet so no yeah i mean it, i would just do like just a regular target dummy or something right so you could do like um let's say like a theoretical ba for example one thing right. i think especially when you get further into the game is if you want to know that the um like the minus cooldown on hats and stuff like that, right? Comparative to going for full stat, what the potential gain or loss is there. I saw some KMS numbers floating around around that. And the other thing I think is the um, is the Oz rings to see like which one is better, how much are they better, are they even worth going for? Because Oz is a huge time commitment. Right. If someone beforehand can see like, oh, you can use this, you're gonna have to switch during the boss fight and you can gain like 1.3 final damage for like 10 seconds. like. Is that even like okay? That's not worth my time. Fuck it. Or like oh, if you do it on burst. Um, the other thing will be, I don't know if you can do this, but the other thing will be like, based on your party composition, mm -hmm. your to know whether your optimal WSE composition for your solo situation is actually uh, significantly different from your optimal situation when you're in a boss fight and bursting down. Because say you're optimizing right. your damage, right, for the black mage, and a lot of times you see phase two, well, mainly phase three, right? People just sit in the corner and just wait for domain. Right. So you're always fighting 100% on burst. So does that mean that your WSE maybe, depending on your team composition, maybe you need something else. Like you have a paladin in your party that gives like 50% debuff on IED. Does that mean that you can just completely get rid of ID actually and improve your DPS? Something like that. I gotcha, I gotcha. Wait, is that is that not possible? Like the answering thing, for example, is that not possible in the current tools? Um, it might be, but like I said, I'm not in that situation where I'm kind of like settled and min-maxing. So I don't right. know to which extent. Because um, like I said, I get kind of scared at <laughs> how much there is. So... It kind of scares me off of actually like really going in there. Toro Oz emblem. Yeah. So like you would like just something that's a bit more. Just. I want to put in my equips the the stats the, 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 from my equips and stuff that I can actually understand, and then. Everything else is just computed for you, like my range, my stats, my damage, uh, my rough average damage outputs. Right? If I use these skills. And what rotation would be best for me, et cetera, et cetera, that kind of thing. Yeah, I wonder if that like attack rotation thing, if you can, you think that's fully possible to make that, like, uh, make sense? I, I think in theory it's possible. I don't know if all the resources are there. Mm. Like, if they are, then yeah. Because yeah, of course you can't really include, like, average ping and like delay and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I might be able to think just like put in, let's say, you know, your average ping and then. For all mm -hmm. the skills for your class, like, because all the ID, uh, all the skills should be available in in the database. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can take that and calculate damage. Mm. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. I mean, yeah, I was trying to figure out like what what would what would actually be the advantage of this. And those are some pretty good. Yeah, ideas. you want it to be serving a purpose right i mean it's cool to have make a project that works but it's all even cooler if people can use it and actually adv take advantage from it yeah mm -hmm. okay so right now i have um part of like future ideas would be support for familiars links union or legion right mm -hmm. uh, average dpm your projected dojo floor if that's possible um Ooh, that's going to be uh, tricky with the spider and everything that's just constantly teleporting away. Yeah, I'm not sure that's even possible. That might not actually be possible. There might be a just... You, you could say, like, oh, this floor with, like, a margin of error of, like, one minute or something, and then that could basically be, like, one or two floors off. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Okay, and then we have uh, different regions. So, like, MPLC, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Screenshotting for gear, Oz rings, party composition, skill rotations... And then is there anything else that you think would be good? Um, I'll ask my chat. Nobody will base their WC around their party, though. But they should, because that makes more sense. Like, party will change, sure. 
but like black mage party that the, if you're getting to the point where you're doing the black mage like those parties are gonna stay together for quite a while typically wc is expensive to reroll yeah but at that point once you have it you don't reroll you just make another one right that's true yeah. you well like the true endy game is going to be that you have like um well you have one emblem right so emblem will probably just be stuck on three line attack and then you'll just have secondaries that you rotate between on what is on what is more optimal because if you're really min maxing you have to min max off of your party burst because that's going to be like 80 plus percent of your of your damage um is there like something like this for demon avengers i believe da is currently in there as well although i don't know if we've 100 percent figured out how demon avenger damage actually works because i've yeah, I think it's up there. i've There's delved one around. oh yeah I, i've oh. tried to like reassemble it myself and i couldn't quite get there me and like three other da's were like trolling around <laughs> trying to make it fit and it would never truly predict like the hp in game it was all it would always be off somewhere because there's a lot of like sources of hp like around that just happen and then you don't know if they're like final or they have multiplied in some way and you have to like equip on equip a bunch of stuff and also the star forcing just changed again right with the uh, how much hp counts for star force and such um I guess I can ask a chat. Wait, so so what's your main question? Like, what what kind of um, utility you people would look yeah, for? Like and what kind of utility doesn't currently exist in the other tools, like spreadsheet and stuff. Mm -hmm. If you guys in chat, if you've used spreadsheet before, or you're planning on using some kind of tool that will predict um, what kind of upgrades you want to make, or how certain upgrades would change your damage output, what would you be looking for? In a tool like that that doesn't already exist like in the calculator and and these kind of things <laughs> i like how there's a shoulder picture he takes what is this even like a spiky ice shoulder i don't think i've seen that item ever before I think there's a Romaru thing, but transparent. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, I, was, I mean, these are like the transparent ones, but the transparent is like a little bit more like ice colored and and this ice is actually more blue. <laughs> ice looks more like this, but this is, yeah, I don't know. I've never seen that. something to help calculate differences in class buffs nerfs and new skills yeah i guess that might be a thing yeah if we know that like change changes from kms that are likely to happen if that's going to impact if you need to pre if it's like okay you need to start saving money because if you reroll re this instead um then your damage output will actually will greatly improve That's pretty valid, I think. Struggling CRA with the Pathfinder, the main I issue was the time commitment to import data and the ease of inputting bad information. So how to organize like all the mob information and all that. Is there any kind of, what if I put like a really weird number in, is it gonna tell me like, yo, this number doesn't look right? Uh. I don't think that's possible for a spreadsheet at least you'd have to put it you'd have to put in like a range for everything or something right and then yeah, and so then you get like error data or something Ugh. yeah so the the thing that i'm trying to to open is that there is actually a, a public api for maple mm -hmm. it's kind of limited in, in how much it can do but as far as i can tell it has access to all the items in the game and then skills and jobs and stuff like that Mm -hmm. and that's one of the reasons why I'm, I'm trying to make this kind of tool is up till now we've just been assuming that we don't have access to the to the information but a lot of the tools have already been created with just like just what we do know already right? yeah mm -hmm. might be helpful if a tool can tell players which bosses they can do with their current setup instead of having to look around ah. Cool, cool. 
Yeah, you'd have to build in some buffer, of course. It's like, oh yeah, you can do this one. You'll have like three seconds left and you have absolutely no room for failure, but you could do it. You have the damage. If you get seduced more than four times on Horntail, you'll die out, but... <laughs> so it could be like, how much how much time could you spend not attacking the boss? Yeah. You'd have to have some like dead space percentage and CC percentage and... You have to run like a bunch of simulations to see how likely it is. And then you'd have to account for, uh, what is it, stat resistance, right? To see how much, uh, how many of the hard CC skills can actually be reduced in time and stuff like that. Yeah. That'd be tricky. Yeah, that's actually not, not that bad. Yeah, I have like an attempt at doing that, of course, with my dailies. Um, that does... That attempts to do that, of course. Uh, but yeah, it's a hugely wide margin, of course, and some classes might be very different than other classes and such. Um, but yeah, because there's still a gap between you're able to do it and then it's useful, like it's a useful use of your time to actually be trying to do this, right? Because just because you can do hard lux and you do like a 20 minute hard lux run every day, you're not going to get that much out of it. It's probably better to just spend that time training so you can get the helix first. So um it's good to, to know like if you're trying to do solo progress and you're just trying to you know reach milestones it's good to know when it's even remotely possible but in my opinion like the best way to figure out if it's possible or not is just to give it a go and then see if you fail and then based on where you failed and working on that that's true but you know if you can throw it into a, a simulator you have the numbers for I don't know if the wiki page draw. Where does the wiki page draw from, or is that just input from people? Well, I, I'm not sure because I think it's directly from the wizard files. Because mm. the guy who makes the API, mm -hmm. he also, I think, he also has the the wiki page. Uh -huh. the, the official wiki that Nexon has on their website, mm. which they seem to think that he's actually pulling. He has some support from Nexon to directly pull from the files. He has all the data for every region available in the world. Hmm. It's like really, really horribly documented, so you can't actually like, yeah. sort through it very easily. But you know, it, it is technically programmatic. It's like searching anything in the in the world map, and it tries to draw from some things that pretends like it doesn't exist. But then you can actually go there and open the world map there, so it does exist. And it's like nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the challenge is like, how do I actually organize? all the data and like present it in a way that people actually care about but i yeah. don't know what people are still missing or what's like hard to use about the current uh mm -hmm. tools that they do have yeah i mean i'm gonna be honest for me that calculator might do everything that i need i just don't like how it looks in a rich <laughs> i'm perfectly honest like it just looks to it probably is great i mean it it is probably yeah i mean i feel in all likelihood it just to me doesn't look sexy you know and sometimes so something like this actually look good then like this you can, can imagine I, like tabs and stuff am i sharing my screen can i show it on screen yeah sure i've been streaming for a while about this oh yeah okay This is a really, really, really rough draft, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing would be that if there's something that would be unnecessary, that it would be immediately gone, right? So it would be invisible. Like, let's say, for example, you have the Mustering SS, then like Flame, Star Force, that would already be completely uh, invisible. And if you selected previously that you were in Reboot, then Scrolls would always be invisible, right? And then you'd have a much cleaner... Yeah. Um, there'd be much less going on. Yeah, that's 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 very easily possible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think. Be like a hmm? Decent idea. Mm hmm. So you want, um, yeah. So the the measure of input would be like something that you can look into if that's possible, right? But if it's a mustering SS, it's always the same stats. So that one's really fucking easy. Like the only thing you have to do there is just tell me what the potential is, and then that's done. Yeah, like a lot of the visual stuff is going to be adjusted. This is obviously not the final part. Yeah, yeah. Like mm -hmm. The text is hard to read. And like, I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. You got to put like white text with black outline or something, right? That's uh, yeah. yeah. Pops everywhere. Uh, this is very ugly right now. 
just I, I guess like my, my main question would be just kind of uh, the way of input like putting stuff like this and having maybe some like a checkbox of, like say I'm gonna equip this and have a different tab that has kind of like similar to the in-game UI where you can see all your equips like would that interface be a sufficient improvement yeah something? having like as a start having the in-game UI and then just click on a box and then with like either a drop down or you just start typing the name of the item and it just auto completes you click enter and then it already auto completes everything that's stuck um for reboot obviously that's easier right because there's way more that just is unchangeable for non-reboot there'll still be more that they have to input because there's just more variants and stuff um right. but once that's all kind of like taken care of um yeah, and then you just go through all the things i, I guess um because that one listed very well on reddit right where the guy basically pulled how expensive an upgrade is on average uh, from all the calculators that other people did and he made like a rough like um, priority list on which upgrade to go for right but there's so many variables but I'm like I'm wondering right, which, is of, which is your weakest item kind of thing yeah but you'd have to start with like some pretty arbitrary levels of scoring right because the the problem is like what is best in slot do you go for like the theoretical best in slot do you go for the best in slot that the top 10 percent of players can go for do you go you, you know like what do you compare to because if you're going to compare a master ring ss that has like three lines of strength but you compare it to like a 22 star gloom ring it's going to look like absolute shit but maybe it's uh, it's very close to what is the best that that person can do you know that's my struggle always. That's why I do these one-on-one -on -one sessions, right? Because I can try to kind of get a feel for how much someone plays because based on that, I can see like what is the chance that someone can actually improve and can actually make significant upgrades compared to what they already have. Right. So just like what is the next upgrade you can feasibly make as, as a particular user? Yeah, I think... Yeah, I wonder to which extent you have to do that manually, though. I wonder to which extent you can automate that, but that would be interesting to figure out, I guess. Yeah, I, I think that's the kind of thing. Um, it, it would definitely have to have some some human input, like what is the current progression scheme, but mm -hmm. or like an accessibility well. like coefficient for some equips, like how how easy it is it to get this piece of equipment, and then how easy yeah. is it to upgrade it, and then you'd have to grade items like that, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that shouldn't be too difficult. Right? Or you give options, right? You'd be like, okay, here are the four equips you could upgrade this with, and then this one scores very high in difficulty to achieve uh, and, 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 and in risk. This one is low in risk but difficult to achieve. This one is high in risk but easy to achieve, something like that. And then based on right. that, they can choose which one they go for or something like that maybe. Right, so it's like give the user options but like try to automate all the stuff that you can't actually predict. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thanks, man. I, I think that really I mean, yeah, <laughs> a lot of a lot of a lot of ideas. <laughs> probably yeah, not going to be able to do everything, but <laughs> probably not. But I, I do hope that I can at least take a lot of the the manual things because one of the things that I'm I'm trying to do is trying to automate away the things that the computer would be best at doing, mm -hmm. leaving the rest for the the user. Because like like for me, you know, personally, this is this spreadsheet. The hard part about it is just it's trying to ask me to do things that the computer would be better at doing so yeah that's true the computer could do it faster more reliably yeah, yeah. i guess that's what smithley uh, said as well right the, the the chance of human error like you want to eliminate that as much as possible yeah like I, i'm still a little bit worried because like I st i'm still asking the users to put in flames and stuff but i guess they can't really there's only so much that you could automate for this um i'm a little bit concerned I well, based on the level of the item, there would be a theoretical max for everything, right? That you could pre-program pre in. Right. So they could never put in like 8% all staff, for example. Like it had to, it has to be either one. Uh, I don't think it can be one either, right? It has to be three, four, five, six, seven. If it's like a flame advantage item, if it's not a flame advantage item, right? Yeah, yeah. Like a bunch of those things. I think that will eliminate a lot of the 
possible error like if someone puts an, an extra three somewhere or something accidentally puts in like 300 strength like it'll immediately say like you know you can't do that oh so you can make like a a drop down list of like all the possible flame stats for we, for some things it'll be easy right for all stat but for strength it'll be tricky because you can have flat strength and then you can have strength plus dex and you can have int plus strength and then you get a whole lot of possibilities because you'll have possibly like 48 you can have 49 you can have 50 you can have 51 right if, yeah. if you just rearrange it a little bit so for the stats that'll be a mess for all the other ones it's easy for attack it's like you know probably like three three through six all stats probably three through six right if it's flame advantage something like that those are pretty simple for hp it's pretty huge chunks um yeah but would yeah it, would it be easy like I, I guess what i'm asking is would it be reasonable to expect someone to just type in flames hmm. or would that also be too much effort because <laughs> right now I'm, I'm basically assuming that like once they once you can choose what kind of scroll you have like common scrolls like spell traces and stuff mm -hmm. but there are some things that are just very rng like, like a chaos scroll for example you would have it would have many different options. <laughs> yeah 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 there would be some I, I would have to require the user to put in like how much you actually got from scrolls. Yeah, true. Or you could just adjust the total stats, but like in most cases you would just use spell traces. So I'm trying to like automate that as much as I can. Mm. But yeah, I, I guess one thing you just can't like you know. Yeah, I, I guess you'd specifically need some some non reboot input from that because I'm I'm thinking very very reboot oriented right now. Yeah. Okay. That's that's, that's good. That's really good. Yeah. At least I have an idea of what to, to automate now. Yeah, yeah. If you have that initial like um, selection of like what server are you in, and then what class are you, like that can already take a lot of the things. Like, okay, it's a strength main stat character. Um, you know, you're already going to be looking at certain stats. Uh, it's in non reboot or in reboot. Like that already should eliminate like a whole bunch of stuff. And then as long as all of that stuff is completely invisible and gets automated away, that will, I think, already make it way more user friendly. So as for so you think like acceptable inputs would be user job yeah so like what re uh, well, like which region and then is it reboot or non-reboot um and then which class right one sec let me write this down so the class the server and then region if you're gonna do from like maple c and right okay um I don't think do you need to get more specific than that. Is there a need? I don't think so. I don't think there's any like category. No, I think that's about it. Okay, cool. So that only makes like what like three regions and like reboot and non reboot. So that's like six and then forty six classes. So that's only two hundred and seventy six different options. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so for everything, you'd have to like give it a score in those three categories, right? To be either zero or one, to be visible or not. No, there's a lot of uh, frameworks that can take it. It's just like a giant if. Oh, yeah. Hide things. yeah. If this, then. Yeah. yeah. Then show is, is is one. <laughs> yeah, hiding things actually is, is one of the easier things that you can do. Ah, nice. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks, yeah. Bud. Yeah, no problem. Thanks uh, for asking for my feedback. Ah, uh, feedback <laughs> is very valuable. Yeah, thank you, dude. I mean, best of luck. If you ever have any other questions, just uh, let me know. Yeah, thanks a lot. Yep, good luck.